Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing where we've got a couple of hours stick float fishing on a small stream. So let's get cracking. Because of the confined nature of the swim I'm using an 11 foot rod. I have casters, maggots and a small amount of punch crumb. Well, I missed a bite on my first trot down. That was on a red and white maggot. I just changed to a single white to experiment. Let's feed a pinch of casters. Cast slightly downstream, get the line behind the float feed again and let it run. Pinch of casters, no more than a dozen, fill it up with your rig, straighten it all out behind the rig and run it down. Due to uh, overhanging trees I can't strike upwards, I have to strike parallel to the water which is not so great and all the bites at the moment are coming a good 20 yards down the swim. So really I want to get these fish to uh, come up the swim. Being as it's cold I probably would have done better on a, a ledger rig but I wanted to uh, fish the stick float. It's probably one of my all time favourite methods of fishing. And it's one skill that every angler should have. Just going to uh, put an inch on the depth. When you adjust the depth, don't make huge adjustments, just little, because it can be crucial. Just an inch can make all the difference between either catching on the bottom catching a lot of fish. If I start catching on the bottom I'll take that inch off. Sometimes it can take a while to uh, turn the fish on so don't always expect to just drop in and catch especially on a hard day like today. Right next step I'm going to bring the bolt shot down. I won't hesitate to drop the bolt shot all the way down if I have to it's too shallow to fish a strung out pattern. I really dislike using non-toxic shot, but unfortunately we're forced into it. Partially our own fight because anglers didn't get together as a whole and fight the rule, but there we go. If you fish abroad you can still use uh, pure lead shot which uh, is far better and no doubt there are a few anglers illegally using it. These overhanging trees are causing me endless problems. I'm glad I chose to use an 11 foot rod today as opposed to a 13 so I think I'd have been in the trees every time. My mate has just phoned me to say he's going to come down so I don't know if he'll fish or just watch. I might even let him have a go and film him. I'm sure if that was a fish or a snag. No matter, let's keep going. This could be a grueler of a session. Yeah, my bud was supposed to be coming fishing with me today, but uh, I think he had a bit of a heavy night. I did phone him three or four times, but... Perils of the demon drink.
All right, just as an experiment, I'm just going to put a small piece of bread on the hook just to uh, see if it's a bread day. Walnut sized ball of bread. Let's just see if bread will work. It's magic. First chop down with bread, and we've saved the blank, yes. Well, it's only very small. It's a little tiny roach, but it's a fish. And if I don't soon get a response, I'll probably move swims. This one is not uh, living up to expectations. Well, I'm still getting odd fish. They're just not very big. Um, and not many of them. I suppose in an hour's fishing, I've had six or seven this sort of size dace and roach. But it's been very slow. I've had a couple of bread, the rest are on maggots. But uh, I suppose with the uh, weather conditions we've had, I shouldn't be too surprised. changing light reflections down the river is making it difficult to see the bites as well because they are right the way down the stream. Yeah, I've had nothing that requires the landing net yet. Which is a shame, I did think I'd put a few better fish. It just goes to show you even prolific rivers like this can turn off when we have bad conditions. I'll just give a quick run through on a tackle I'm using. Today I'm using uh, a little 11 foot Drennan match light, match pro ultra light. I have 3.4 line Drennan little Drennan stick float which takes six number fours. I've had to bolt shot it down and I'm going down to a three pound hook link to a size 16 wide gape so I can fish bread, maggots or whatever. But like I say it's proving to be very difficult today so let's keep going. There's always time for one of those big roach to show up. You're on camera. That's all right, mate. So you bring me a bit of luck. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a few, but nothing uh, of any size. I haven't needed a landing net yet. And they've all been uh, pretty small. When you finish your fag, come and have a go. You might get lucky. So my mate's turned up and I've now filmed him having a go, see if he's got any luck. But, uh, yeah. It's lovely. What you been missing, mate? 
Yeah, there you got one? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice roach. It's gorgeous on the side tray if you need it. He's jammy. Oh, he doesn't believe in changing bait if he's not touched neither. <laughs> tight and they're not even his maggots. Ooh. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Comes along, no gear, uses my rod and he gets decent fish. Is it a landing net job or a swinger? So they're all right down the bottom there, aren't they? Well, you got another roach or a dace? Oh, look at that. Lovely quality dace. That's it. Got to move. Move down, swims for the last half hour. Right, <laughs> it's hey? Specimen. This fish has come from a good 40 yards downstream. It's not very big, but uh, it's a fish and it's made an enjoyable session. There must be a few pike in here all evening. That's a nice fish. And there we have, nice quality dice. This is probably the most skillful form of float fishing there is and does take a, a lot of effort to master and um, I think my mate would admit he'd be the first to admit he's a bit rusty. A black school there. Where? On the fence. Black school. In that area? Yeah. And here we have one of the famous or infamous black squirrels. Come along to watch us. They only seem to be found in this area of the country. He's into a specimen here. Oh, dace or roach? <laughs> well, I guess that's it. So, <coughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Even though it uh, wasn't a very spectacular fishing, it's. Uh, I suppose I've had about a dozen fish, biggest dace. Might have gone five or six ounces, but uh, as fishing, can't always get massive catches. So, thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you soon with another video. Bye for now. Tight lines.